music, rhythm, and song bring people together across cultures. None more so than Brazilian samba. This is very much a music for a lot of people to play together, for a lot of people outdoors in a very informal and high energy environment. This is really music for anyone to play and to be played for everyone. In Brazil, this music is played by people of all ages and all abilities, and there's really a place for everyone in the ensemble and in the community that supports and engages with that music. There's something really special going on. I've often wondered what it is, if it's the, the combination of influences from Africa and the Caribbean and other parts of South America and the indigenous people and the Europeans. The rhythms, are they hold so much the connections to tribes in Africa, the, the connections to tribes in, in Brazil. The, the, the meanings behind these rhythms, uh, they, they all hold so much and it comes out even if you don't know anything about it, you still end up feeling it. Just the amazing excitement that we all experience. Samba captivates people of different backgrounds, interests, and ages. It celebrates community and joy through rhythm and music. It's a very happy music. Regardless if you know what they're singing, you can feel that. It's uh, something that seems to be coming right from the earth and uh, really transmits some energy that is hard to find in other types of music, I think. It's just a joyful music. It's fun to dance to. It, it just makes me happy. It's, you know, it's transformative for some people. It has been for me. This music is all about community. If you go to Brazil, they'll sing about where they came from, who their ancestors were, what, where they live. And it only happens because it's a community effort. The Boulder Samba School is a nonprofit founded in 2009 by Coloradans eager to share the joy of samba. The school offers Brazilian music classes, workshops, and performances by Bateria Alegria. Oh, alegria means happiness and joy. So I think one of the main missions that we have is to bring joy of Brazilian music to this community. And this community happens to be very diverse, you know. We have young people, older generations, and uh, you get to know people from all over the world. It's all about community, really, and getting together and learning these amazing rhythms and coming together and making something together under the direction of Carl Dixon, who is a fantastic leader, teaches us, super patient. I think we are very fortunate to have a really true uh, master percussionist as a music director of the Samba School. And when we go back to the first part. I can't imagine a better person. He's, he's both technically and his ability as an educator and his patience. We, I love what Carl is doing with the ensemble and, and the arrangements that he's coming up with. It's, it's exciting. Starts with the sordos, then has the entrada. We have a class for new members with either no experience at all or a little bit experience playing drums or other percussion instruments or any other instrument. In a series of classes, we'll introduce the instruments that we use, most common rhythms that we play. That gives the participants a good idea of how the individual instruments work, how the rhythms work together, and how the whole ensemble works together. So we play, and then when I count one, two, three, four, we just jump right to that. Okay, practice a couple more times, same thing. One, two, three, four. I play the tambourine. The little thing, yeah, that makes more noise than anything else. <laughs> I play the kaisha, the snare drum. 
like when I was watching somebody play, I thought it was really cool and I wanted to try it. Well, I play second surdu. It's a big bass drum, it's not the lowest, it's the second lowest drum. I started on, on the uh, agogo, which is that double bell. Now I'm playing the third surdu. It has a lot of the in-between rhythms between the first and second surdu, and it overlaps with many of the other rhythms in the group. I moved to Kaisha from Tambourine. So it requires quite a bit of uh, attention and discipline, if you will. Um, but also there's room for um, sort of fun. Colorado Brazil Fest is the Samba School's annual celebration of Brazilian culture, music, and dance. And features well-known artists from Brazil. Samba School also invites Brazilian artists to perform concerts throughout the year. It's very energizing to see the, re the response from the community when we bring those amazing uh, musicians and performers. Like in Brazil, the Samba School is a fulcrum for community. There is a place for you no matter your background or knowledge of music. There are classes for beginners and opportunities to perform across Colorado with Bateria Alegria. I believe that, that there's a place in, the, in this ensemble, in this kind of music for everyone, regardless of, of their experience, and that, that really everyone can do it. Brazilian music has a power to attract people from all corners of life. When you get together and you're playing your drum, you are becoming one sound, and that's what it's all about. It's nice to go back to something, I think, primal, you know, primitive, playing drums, laughing is good. Become part of the Samba School. Join the fun, share the joy, feel the rhythm, and join our community. Brazilfest.org is the place to find out about this weekend and into September too we have a lot of shows.